Hey guys, Mr. Chloral here, and welcome back to another review. This time we've got the 82 Inform Al Sama. So let's take a look at the team we played him in. 4 3 2 1, he played the striker, and we had him as a target man. So let's talk a little bit about his dribbling now. He has really good ball control, and you could spray the ball into him really quickly, and he'd be able to control it. I was really impressed with that. But he does turn like a truck, and he has really low agility. So overall, his dribbling was pretty poor. From a physical perspective, he's really, really strong and he can bully people and hold off even the biggest defenders, which was a good plus point. From a runs and positioning, he's not bad, um, although I did set him as a target man, so he was always open for a short pass, but other than that, he didn't re really make many good runs in behind the defence. From a pace perspective, he was faster than I thought, but he was still slow. He isn't going to beat anyone for pace or burn pass defenders. Shooting... This is what I thought would be the best stat. Honestly, it wasn't. It was really bad. I mean, just look at the clips. He missed so many chances, and you can't put them all down to user error. He took so long to wind up his shot, the defender would always block it. Really disappointing. His passing, well, his short passing was really good. His uh, through balls along the four were fantastic. But his long passing didn't seem to have the dip or spin, and the defender would always get there first, and his crossing was terrible. Overall, felt like it was playing with 10 men. His best ability was his aerial threat from corners. He's too slow, guys, and he turns like a truck, and he can't shoot. 3 out of 10, I've been Mr. Crowell. See you next time.